good morning and welcome to another vlog. So we're not doing a lot today really, we're going to head out this morning to Asda, get a few things, then on the way back we're going to go to the library because Edison got out some books a few weeks ago, probably about two weeks ago, and he's really really good at reading them now, um, and he's too good at reading them all now, so we're going to change them for some new ones, plus we're going away in a week or, well just not this week, um, the week after, to Tembi, to Kiln Park. So um, obviously we need to get some new books um, so that, yeah, we haven't got to take them back whilst we're away and get fined for being late. But uh, yeah, that's the plan anyway this morning. Me, Edison and Emma are ready. Mummy's just getting ready upstairs. And we're going to head off to... So I should say that we went to um, sort of autism specialist like centre. Um, so Edison's been on the autism sort of um, waiting list to see whether he's got it or not for about two years now. Um, and we finally had a letter recently to go have a meeting and to discuss all his tendencies and stuff like that. Because when he was younger, we had a lot more concerns than we do now um, and stuff. But the process is so long, like the waiting list, like I say, is two years and stuff. So it's taken until now for us to even get an appointment. So we had that in the week where we went up to the Serenu Children's Centre up in Rogerstone in Newport. Um, we had a chat with a lovely doctor there and she sort of played with Edison, told them all, you know, the sort of bits and pieces. We told her all the little sort of quirks and stuff that Edison had um, and things like that um, that we think might be his autistic tendencies. Um, and to sort of cut a long story short, she said that he doesn't have anything that's like, you know, debilitating or that she thinks he might need a lot of help with. Um, but she doesn't think that he does have autism because to have autism or to be diagnosed with it, you've got to have, you've got to have tendencies from like the social aspect as well as the other aspect. I can't remember what the other one is, but because um, he's so social and stuff like that and he'll play with anyone. And when we were there, he was just playing with the doctor when they had a little playtime with toys and stuff. Um, so yeah, because he doesn't have that side of it, um, he doesn't think uh, that he's got, or he's going to be diagnosed with full autism or anything like that. But she said, you know, he could still have, you know, she still thinks he's got some tendencies and stuff like that, but she needs to explore it more um, and do like a team meeting and, and possibly a visit at his school. But that's what they wait for next is for the school to get back to them. And um, they've sent in like a letter to see what he's like in nursery. And once they've got that back, they kind of sort of make a decision then um, as to what to do moving forward or not. Um, but yeah, that was uh, that was good. It was a nice sort of productive meeting. Like I say, they sort of said that he's not got anything really that they think will sort of... But he needs a super amount of help for that will like slow him down in life, so to speak. I, I don't know how best to phrase it, but yeah. That was what came out of it. We're just watching rubbish TV whilst uh, Mummy's getting ready. And then, like I say, we'll see you... Uh, Possibly at the shops or the library. So these are the books I picked up for Edison last time. Like I picked up sort of a variety of different ones that I thought when I flicked through them had different levels of difficulty. So like this one was like a really, really easy one for him to read because it's just repetition. It was just dog likes to dig and the dog starts off, you know, digging a hole and it's the same phrase repeated over and over. We sort of practiced with him, like, trying to say the, the words like d -og dog and putting them together, and he's fantastic at doing it now. But yeah, we started off on that. Um, like I say, they did get easy, um, a bit more difficult. And some of these books are brilliant because they start off practicing, like, a certain letter, so you draw it with your finger, there's like a lowercase l and a capital L here. And it gives you some of the words to familiarise yourself as well in the book so that you can, and high frequency words, so you can practice them beforehand before you even read the book. So, yeah, and it gives you even some tips there to uh, read them. But we picked these up from a local library because uh, we were looking to buy some books online, like either Ladybird ones or Chip and Biff and Chip. Um, I think Mummy used to read when she was younger. But, um,. But yeah, they were really expensive, so we thought we'd try the library, because there's one not far from us. And yeah, they got loads of good reading books, so he's fantastic reading them. He can read them all by himself. Like, can Derek get the laptop to go? No. And stuff like that. Maybe I'll see if he'll come out and read one for me. Okay, Edison, what have we got? Um, laptop 
Good job. There you go, let's practice high frequency words. Fantastic! Should we read the story now? Good job. Laptop bug. <coughs> Can Kim get the laptop to go? No. No. Fantastic. Well, fantastic reading, yeah. Can Mum get the laptop to go? No. No. Can do it. Oh, don't spoil it for everyone who's going to watch. <laughs> Can Dad get the laptop to go? No! <laughs> oh, we got to turn the page to find out if Dad can do it. There's Dad. No! There, there is a bug in the laptop. Oh, fantastic. Look. Look. Yeah, it's a little bug in the laptop, isn't there? Can one get the laptop to go? Yes! <laughs> well, let's find out. <laughs> go, go, bug, go. Oh, yes! One can. Fantastic. And it moves on to I another story know. then. Yeah, like you say, it's a lot of sort of repeated and repetitive things, but he knows all those words now and stuff. And he's seen them in like other, the, some of the other books. And when we're out about, he just loves like reading things on science and stuff now when he, he knows some of the words he's picking up from the books. So he even tries to sign them out himself now, like I say, if he doesn't know it, he's just in like a really good sort of learning to read phase. So that's why we want to think to the library and swap his books for new ones. The car won't pass. A park. Are we there yet? Says Mark. Oh. Car won't pass. A top. What? Help me. Of course I can. It's tut town. Town. Are we there yet? Says Mark. Good boy. You can see, then he did try and sound it out. The car won't pass. Our fair. Are we there yet? Says Mark. Good boy. Here we are, says Mum. And where are they? To the beach. At the beach. To the end. Good boy, Good. fantastic reading. One hour later. That's so after a uh, long shop at Asda, we ended up spending way more than we wanted to. We're actually at the library now. This is Malpas Library to take Edison's books back and swap them for some new ones. Let's get inside and have a look. This is the library up in Malpas. It's like all the kids area, reception, then there's like adults area, and a um, computer coming over there. There's loads and loads of books, it's like a little nice reading area, nice settee there as well. And this is where I got the books from last time, so these are like the learn to read, practice, practicing your reading sort of book ones on these two shelves here. And then you've got all your other books elsewhere, so let's dig into these ones and pick some new ones for Edison. One hour later. And we're back home. So he's got seven new books now to read. We did actually, me and Edison, go back into the library because he, he wanted to read one of his books and stay in the library a little bit longer. So we went back in, read the book together before walking home. So mummy, we would have stayed there with Emma and stuff as well, but Emma had pooed um, and they don't have any baby change centers there. I don't think they've actually got any toilets. I've been there before with Edison. Um, and I did ask because he needed to use the toilet and they let us use it for him but I'm sure they said then that strictly speaking the toilet's there just for sort of staff members and stuff only but um, but yeah mummy brought Emma back um, with the shop and stuff whilst I um, stayed there for five minutes longer and walked back with him. Well, we're all back home now and mummy's cut together all the Mother's Day stuff for her mum so that's all the stuff that uh, mummy's got. Grandma, very nice. We got all this from Asda. Nice little hemp. And she's also got some flowers there. Yeah, we don't really have any plans today, so we're just, again, making up as we go along and just keep picking us up when we're doing something interesting, really. I can touch a stream of gold above Breaking through with hope of light and love Giving peace of mind to those of us
That was a nice fun time at Val's. The kids love going around there just for a little play and a little dance. They literally go in there and do the same things over and over. over putting the uh, the CD player on, dancing to it, and just playing with Val and yeah, playing with everything there. And Val loves them visiting, so it was nice to go around and see her now and again. But we've had a little bit of lunch. I've had my soup. The kids are just watching to me on the TV because Mummy set up the TV again in this room with the. Uh, no TV box in the hope that the kids will sit in here and sort of watch it sometimes if me and mummy want to watch me on here together. But yeah, I've just sort of got dressed in my like workish clothes. It's Grandpa's too soon and we may do a little bit of digging in the garden but we'll see anyway when he gets here what he wants to do. Um, but if not, I'm going to probably do a little bit today. So yeah, I just want to dig out the tree roots a little bit more if I can. Who's here, Edison? Um, it's not in Grandpa's <laughs> I'm a superhero cape. Very nice little shrine. There we go, Dad's made a start in the garden. <laughs> Gonna dig them out, hopefully. I'll make a start at least. And then uh, see where we get to anyway. There we go, job well done. Two taken out, one where the speed is. And that was the hard one we just took out that weighs like an absolute ton there. <laughs> so two down, one, two, three to go. And then we're planning on sort of carrying on that wall there. And it's gonna go, you know, next to, ne that's next door's boundary, all the way up to uh, the corner there. Sammy, yeah. how'd you find that? Easy. Easy. Easy, <laughs> Easy for a 60 year old man. Still watching Looking good. Camera. Looking good for 60. <laughs> Still pulling a mate. <laughs> yeah, we're going to put a fence across now just to keep the kids away from that area. There we go. A nice sort of metal fence cable tied to these little posts to keep the kids out from that area. It's a little bit unsafe. So uh, they do come out in the garden. They can still go on it. Just stay away from that area, really. You can see how much sort of space we're going to be gaining now after we've uh, built our wall and uh, sorted out this area. Like I say, we're going to slab up so far, maybe up till about here, um, and then move the playhouse across or playhouse by here. And like I say, move the garden furniture up then and uh, chill on the garden and watch the kids in their pool or whatever. Also, we're sat on their uh, summer garden chairs. So whilst I've been out in the garden, Mummy's been out and she's picked up these uh, stool chairs. So she's actually got three of them, bar stools for us to sit on because she wants, or her plan, latest idea is to get rid of the kitchen table, to get rid of that. Um, 
So we've got these to replace and we can eat at the kitchen island. And Emma, she wants to get one of these chairs that goes up to three years or I think it's like 16, 17 kilos, wasn't it? They basically clamp on the, uh, on the island and they can sit there then, have their lunch and stuff. We can all eat at the island instead of at the table there. We've got a bit more space there. Simon's here now. And Simon next door's back from Canada, isn't he? But Mummy picked these up off Gumtree and these were ex showroom ones. They're like pretty much brand new. They, have tags on, they, they still have tags on, yeah, so they are brand new and um, they're from the old Leaks. Leaks of Lantricent or something. So she went online to see how much they are to see whether she can get a fourth one because he only had three, sadly. Um, and they're 160 pounds each on Leaks and she got them three for 75 pounds, so 20. Oh, three for 80 pounds, sorry. So 27.50 or whatever it is each. These are all good. So good bargain, Mummy. Yeah, we're just putting tea on now. I'm going to get changed and wash my hands and uh, have something for tea. Because I'm peckish. One hour later. Yeah, so uh, tea was lovely. I forgot to actually do any filming. But I mean, we only had jack of potatoes with beans and, um, and we had southern fried chicken, me and Mummy. And the kids had chicken dippers with theirs. Yeah, it was lovely. The uh, sitting at the island was nice and cosy and the chairs were nice and comfy, so a uh, good choice for me. Um, yeah, we're just sort of chilling out now for the evening before swimming tomorrow with Edison and we're going to head into Cardiff actually with Edison whilst uh, Grandma and Grandad watch Emma for us because um, I want to pick up a few things um, and we're sort of going to take Edison in for like a little treat because we very rarely get to take him anywhere. Um, because Emma's a bit younger, because she's a little bit more difficult. So, um, taking him out for a little bit in the afternoon before coming back. But I should say as well, with his swimming, he's actually... Last week, we tried him again in the newer class. So, the class he's currently in is a three to five class. Um, and we're always in the pool with him. Um, and the teacher sort of tells us all what to do. And we sort of help him then. Um, do his swimming, but he's way too advanced for that class. So we've been wanting to move him up to the next one because his teacher tells us that he's even too advanced for the next one. Like he's, he's that good. Um, so we have tried the next one before, but we just left him because he's got to go in the pool on his own. So we left him with the teachers and he didn't like that class being in on his own. So we ended up going back to the three to five one. But then last week we tried it again, but this time, you know, we discussed it with the pool teachers and they said, yeah, you sit on the edge of the pool with him um, and see if uh, see if he can settle in and, and do it that way. So, um, and he was absolutely fantastic last week. He was just up and down on his own. I did have to coax him in the pool a little bit because he did sort of shut down a little bit, sort of like, no, I don't want to do it at the start but you know I got a pool toy and I threw it in and once he was in the water then um, he got used to the teacher a little bit he was fine he absolutely fantastic it was one of his best lessons then last week but yeah we're going to try that again tomorrow um he's looking forward to it he keeps saying that yeah he's going to do his new class and his new teacher is called Mike so he's, he keeps saying that yeah he's going to listen to Mike and all that sort of stuff so fingers crossed we can get him moved up into that class um we got that again tomorrow, his new swimming class. Um, and then hopefully in the future, in the next week or two, he'll go in there without me being on the side of the pool then. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But well, I think I'm just going to chill out now. And I'm going to put the camera down. And I'm just sit and play with the kids and relax. So I'm going to leave the vlog there. So with that, hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> yeah, guys.